Hello guys and welcome to Unity Tips video series. In this video I will show you how you can create a damage pop-up like this one without writing a single line of code. I'm the creator of the game called Snappy Mouse Run and let's get into it. So how does it work? It's a particle that renders a UI text. You can alter the text while the particle effect is playing and it will instantly render the changed text. Let's now create another one from scratch. We need a canvas for the UI elements. I'll call it pop-up canvas and the particle system, pop-up system. Next under the particle system renderer, you will quickly realize that there is no option to plug the canvas into the system, but you can plug in a material. So the challenge here is to render the canvas with the UI elements to a material. Let's go to our canvas and create a simple UI panel. The panel gets stretched to the canvas size and since the canvas random mode is set to screen space overlay, its size depends on the game view size. As you can see when I resize the window, the canvas gets resized as well. I'll choose a nicer background here. Then let's also add a UI text to it. Select its rec transform preset. Now hold alt and shift. You see how the preset icons have changed and select this one in the corner. The text element has been stretched to fit the size of the parent panel. Center the text, check best fit, change font, text color and change the text to game over for example. This is definitely too big for a pop-up but we will define the pop-up size in a moment. Next we need to somehow turn this canvas into a material. Create the material, I'll call it pop-up material. Its shader should be UI unlit transparent or any shader that supports transparency and where you can plug in a texture. Now create a render texture, I'll call it pop-up texture. Dimension should be 2D and here you define the size of your pop-up. Let's say 512 by 256 and plug the texture into the material. To render the canvas to a texture we need to create a custom camera. I'll call it pop-up camera. Set its clear flex to solid color. Set the color black transparent and the projection should be set to orthographic. On the target texture plug in the previously created texture. What's left is to change the pop-up canvas render mode to screen space camera and hook the custom pop-up camera as the canvas render camera. Now the canvas seems to have disappeared but it got resized to the size of the texture. Select the pop-up canvas in the hierarchy and in the scene press F to focus the canvas. Here it is. We can tweak the UI elements further here now that we have the right size. I'll slightly resize the text so it doesn't overlap with the details on the background. How does this look in the 3D view? Here is the canvas and the camera is far away as we can see. To fix that set the canvas plane distance to 1 and also set the camera's clipping plane far option to 1. We don't want to render anything behind or in front of the canvas. The best way to ensure this is to put the canvas on a separate layer and make the camera render only that layer. But in our example setting the camera close to the canvas is good enough. So the camera is rendering the canvas to the target texture, the target texture is fed to the material shader and the material can now be used as particle render material. Select the particle system, in the scene press F to bring it into focus, set the render material and we see a lot of floating pop-up messages. One thing you will notice is that the aspect ratio of the particles doesn't match the texture. It's because each particle is rendered on a square quad. One way to fix this is to create a custom quad mesh with the right aspect ratio and under mesh random mode set it as the mesh or even easier change the material tiling to the right aspect ratio. You see it's still a square but it gets tiled properly. Now what's left is to configure the particle system. Let's set the duration and start lifetime to 1 and speed to 0 so it doesn't fly away. Set also max particles to 1 so we have only a single pop-up at a time for now. Emission defaults are ok. Disable shape so it just gets generated at the center position and we want to be able to control the velocity over lifetime as a curve and in world space. We want that it pops up. In world space Y is up so disable X and Z by clicking on them. We can try some presets and see which one pops up the right way. This one is ok but I will increase the start velocity to 3 and maybe slow it down at the end. I'm happy with the velocity, let's add color of a lifetime. Now here we can define a color gradient. Let's say we want it to fade away so full transparent at the end. It starts fading too quickly now. We actually want that only the end of the animation is faded out. So adjust the fade start to about 60% of the animation. Let's take a look in the game window how the pop-up actually looks like. If the pop-up is too small you can either increase the start size for example to 5 which is the billboard particle maximum size or if it's still too small change the render type from billboard to an actual mesh, for instance quad and resize it further. 
Another difference between those two is that the billboard gets resized together with the game window and the mesh has a fixed size. Since this is a particle system it can be used in 2D and 3D games. In 3D games you move the pop-up system under any object and it should follow the object. It will always face the camera with the render alignment option set to view or you can disable camera facing by choosing world for example. The animation is still looping but you can deactivate it and trigger the animation only when necessary. In that case we also don't need the play on a wave. I will demonstrate the triggering on a 2D example. Let's say we have a button that triggers the pop-up. One very important thing when combining the pop-up with the regular canvas UI, you have to make sure that the main canvas has the order in layer option set to minus one. This way it will always be rendered behind the particles. Let's place a button onto the canvas. This will be our game over trigger. I'll change the button image and text. Place the pop-up system in the right position. This is how it will look like. Under the button component we need to add a new on click action. The pop-up system will be our object and under function we can choose an object method that will be called. We want the particle system play method. Start the scene. If the button is pressed the game over pop-up is shown. Here only a single pop-up at the time will be created. If you want to create multiple pop-ups then go to the particle system component. Set max particles to 10 for example. Under emission set the rate over time to 0. Create a burst and set count to 1. Start the scene and now you can create multiple pop-ups. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video useful and want to learn more about Unity, game design or 3D modeling in Blender, please subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. See you in the next one. Bye.